Hey everyone, Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit. So you wanna know what is the best ab exercise? Um, there's a million ab exercises out there. It's so hard to pick one. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna show you the best type of ab exercises in my opinion, and that's gonna be from the hanging position. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of different ones, some of my favorites, there's a, a hundred other ones you can do out there, but these are probably my favorite hanging ab exercises. All right, first up guys, we've got our L sit pull-ups. It's one of my favorite, favorite exercises. You get the back, the biceps, and the abs in one exercise. So I like doing these a lot on back day. But basically what we're doing here, what I like to do at first is get the feet up super, super high, then slowly come down, and then start doing the pull-ups. Make sure you maintain control the whole time. The last thing you wanna do is try to get the legs up at the very beginning and start flailing around a lot, right? So get control, get the feet out there, stay tight, keep the core engaged, and just do the pull-ups as best you can. The first set of these I went underhand. Now I'm gonna show you overhand grip. I actually prefer the underhand on these. It's a little more comfortable, but this is totally up to you if overhand feels better. Neither one's really harder or easier than the other. It's more just a personal preference. All right, next up, I wanna show you guys Ricky doing these, right? So he's not, you know, maybe as good a shape as I am or whatever, he hasn't been doing this as long. So you can see, you know, this might be you starting off, right? If you're trying to get those legs out there, and you haven't done a ton of hanging ab exercises, it's gonna to be tough. Just do the best you can, keep the pull-ups clean and just kill it. Next up is our normal, just hanging leg raises, right? This is a great, great exercise. Might be kind of like the best, best ab exercise if I had to pick one. Um, it's really simple to do, but it's kind of hard to perfect. The main thing you're shooting for here is this smooth pace, no swinging, trying to get the toes all the way up to the bar and then back down. Now this is what you don't want to do, okay? You don't want to swing like that. You don't want to have to go back and swing up. That's not what you're shooting for here. Now if you're just starting out and you're having a really hard time with these from this dead hang type position, there's other options out there. Just try to prevent this swinging, right? If you're having a hard time, you can do what Ricky's doing here where his arms are bent. It's a little bit easier that way uh, as opposed to doing it from a dead hang position like I was doing it. So keep the arms bent and just get up with the legs as straight as you can. All right, the next up is also one of my favorites. It's actually not from the hanging position, but it's very similar. Um, I like to do this actually like on chest and tricep day because I'm working the triceps and the chest a little bit just to kind of maintain my stability, but I'm also getting a great, great ab exercise. So very similar to the hanging leg raise, um, just a little bit different. Um, some people find it a little bit easier on the core, but of course it's harder to stay up if you're not really strong in the triceps and the chest. So on this one, you wanna just stay tight, Again, try to keep those legs really straight and prevent any kind of swinging, right? You might have a little bit more swinging than the dead hang because it's hard to kind of control these. And again, you can see Ricky doing these. Now his are not gonna be as straight legs. He's not gonna get as high as I'm getting. He might have a little more swing than I do. But if this is you starting off or you're getting pretty good at this stuff and this is where you are, that's totally fine. All right, next up we've got the hanging bicycle. So this is what not to do, right? If you start back behind the bar or in front of the bar, you're gonna start swinging and it gets really ugly. So take your time, follow me here. I'm gonna go down slowly. I'm gonna bring the knees up tight and then start biking, right? Try to just hang on to these, keep pushing, keep your feet as high as you can. The biking part is not as important as you keeping your feet up as high as you can. Keep your breathing relaxed here. Try to stay calm with the breathing, but don't stop squeezing that core. All right, now I wanna show you my definite favorite hanging ab exercise if you're talking about obliques and transverse and also hits the rectus abdominis a little bit too. So we're doing our windshield wipers. So what you wanna do is get the legs straight up and then just slowly rotate from side to side here. There's no rush. Don't do them fast like you see a lot of people doing them. You wanna maintain control and get as low as you can with the legs. And you can see at the end here, I'm in a lot of pain. All right, guys, that should give you a pretty good idea of how to do these exercises properly, what are the best hanging ab exercises, and in turn, the best ab exercises, in my opinion. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. Um, just try to do the best you can on these, right? They're not always going to be perfect. Um, the better you get, obviously, they'll start to look more like mine. Um, but early on, you know, you might not be able to do straight legs, and you might not be able to get your feet as high, but just keep working at it, right? If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next video. Shut down.